Welcome to the Oregon Health and Science University. And thank you for your interest in the OHSU Emergency Medicine Residency Program. Hi, my name is Lainey Yaris. I'm an Education Fellow at OHSU in the Department of Emergency Medicine and a recent graduate from our residency program. This video introduces the OHSU Department of Emergency Medicine to prospective residents. We'll tell you a little bit about the application process and some of the basic facts about our program. We'll also get a chance to share with you some of our clinical training sites and some of the wonderful things that make Portland and the Pacific Northwest such a great place to live and work. A word to the wise, production of this video is ongoing in the summer and fall of 2005. Check back soon for more expanded coverage of our program, as well as action shots from our emergency department. Oregon Health and Science University is one of the nation's premier biomedical institutions. Founded in 1887, the OHSU School of Medicine is the Northwest's oldest medical school. Training some 112 physicians per class, the school draws students from Oregon and around the country. Over more than a century, OHSU has grown into a major academic medical center. Oregon Health and Science University is a research powerhouse. We ranked number 35 out of more than 3,100 institutions receiving NIH grant support in 2004, and number 23 out of all U.S. medical schools. While rankings are subjective, we are still proud to be in the top third of research-oriented medical schools, and our teachers and innovators in primary care are consistently ranked among the nation's best. OHSU continues to grow. A new patient care facility is nearing completion, as is a new biomedical research building. This will expand both clinical and research capacity on the Markham Hill main campus but we have also begun construction on a major outpatient facility on the banks of the Willamette River. This branch campus, located on the southern end of downtown Portland, will be connected with the main campus by an overhead tram. The OHSU ED is the clinical hub of our residency. OHSU Hospital is a major tertiary care referral center for the region as is the attached Dornbecker Children's Hospital. The OHSU Emergency Department is a busy place. The department sees about 35,000 patients per year with a healthy admission rate. We are a level one trauma center, one of only two in the state of Oregon. Since OHSU is a major academic medical center, we see many complex medical and surgical patients. But we also serve a county hospital-like role caring for a major share of Portland's medically indigent population. The Dornbecker Pediatric Emergency Department is a part of the facility and is staffed by our department. A minor care area is staffed by nurse practitioners. We also have a busy observation unit and the ED acts as the pre-hospital base station providing online medical control for the region's EMS system. The Portland VA Medical Center is a closely affiliated training site. The relationship is so close, the campuses are directly connected via a skybridge. Residents and staffs will often cross the skybridge to grab a bite in one of OHSU's cafeterias while working a shift at the VA. The Portland VA is one of only a handful in the nation with a full-fledged emergency department. Staffed by board-certified emergency physicians, the ED sees roughly 30,000 visits each year, with a mix of many high-acuity patients. Physicians' assistants and nurse practitioners see many of the lower-acuity patients. The VA is a particularly rich source of procedural training for our residents. Paracentesis, arthrocentesis, ultrasound-guided vascular access, rapid sequence innovation, and sedation, both deep and conscious, are among the common tasks. St. Vincent's Hospital is part of the Providence Health System. A busy community hospital in suburban Portland, the ED sees some 75,000 visits per year. Our residents spend significant time at St. Vincent's in the second and third years and love the busy community environment, 
the abundance of procedures and high acuity problems, and great clinical teaching. In addition to their time in our own Dornbecker Children's Hospital Emergency Department, OHSU residents spend a month at the Emanuel Hospital Pediatric Emergency Department. Emanuel is a busy urban center and the pediatric ED sees some 16,000 patients per year. Our faculty is one of the best in the country. We span the range from fellows like myself and energetic junior faculty to full professors. This is a mature academic department. We have a solid academic faculty, and many of our faculty members also have real-world experience, lending breadth to our training environment. Jairus Hedges, our Chair Emeritus, remains active in the department even as he takes on the challenges of Vice Dean in the School of Medicine. Dr. Hedges is one of the founders of the Specialty of Emergency Medicine and was a founding editor of Academic Emergency Medicine. If you do a Medline search on his name, be prepared for a long list of publications. In case you don't recognize his name, here's a hint. Look at the book he co-edits. Um, hello, I'm Jaris Hedges. I'm the past chair of emergency medicine here at Oregon Health and Science University. I'm currently serving as the vice dean for the School of Medicine, and I welcome you as an applicant uh, for the residency program in emergency medicine here at OHSU. As a professor and past chair of the department, I remain very interested and involved in the department and continue to practice in the OHSU emergency department. Well, I think uh, stability within an, an academic unit, uh, especially a department, is extremely important. OHSU has been an academic department within the institution uh, for uh, almost 13 years now, uh, since 1992. The program has uh, trained over 25 years of residents and it's been incredibly well integrated within the OHSU uh, hierarchy. I think the strength of this program is the diversity of thought and perspective and uh, because of the stability that we have, we're able to uh, tolerate and embrace a, a variety of different perspectives and opinions. And I think the resident leaving the training program, uh, not only because of the diverse clinical opportunities uh, here at the Veterans Hospital, at our community uh, hospital colleagues' uh, operations, it's not only that uh, uh, variety, but also the variety within our own uh, faculty due to their prior training experiences uh, at other institutions as well as what they have developed here at OHSU given their special areas of emphasis. Pat Burnett is our residency program director. He works closely with Terry Schmidt, our interim chair. You can see that our department is wholly committed to resident education. I'm the uh, interim chair of the Department of Emergency Medicine. It's so good to be talking to you today. The primary function of any residency is to create great emergency physicians, both technically and in terms of their compassion and caring for patients. Uh, at the same time, some residents will be interested in moving on into leadership roles and into research and academics, but on the whole, this is just a strong clinical department that really cares about taking care of patients and producing a great generation of future emergency physicians. We have very high demands on our residents here. We expect uh, not only excellent clinical care, but also uh, scholarly activity in the form of lectures, a scholarly project, uh, teaching medical students, teaching uh, other healthcare professionals. But I think the culture here um, ha creates a much more uh, horizontal hierarchy. Uh, we've, I think, had a long tradition of very strong residency directors who have been great advocates for residents and uh, made this a great program. I think this program is, un is unique in that every um, program director that uh, we've had, and we've only had um, about four in the long uh, lifespan of the program, really did it because they wanted to. It was a career goal for them to be a program director. I suppose the other thing that's worth commenting on is I believe strongly in wellness for faculty, residents, students, everybody here. 
and the expectation is that residents work hard when they're working. Our residents also play hard and we support and encourage that. So, yes, I think uh, most of our residents have looked at a spectrum of programs and have chosen uh, to come here because the level of autonomy is balanced by the level of mentorship that they get from the, the faculty. I think it's a very good balance between mentorship and uh, autonomy and independence. We very highly value progressive responsibility uh, through the three years of training here. Um, At OHSU we have one of the best emergency medicine faculties anywhere, but it is your fellow residents who will most color your experience. One of the things that, that drew, me, drew me most uh, to this particular program, I think there are a lot of programs that I was looking at where you, you get you know, excellent clinical training, diverse patient population, uh, well-known faculty, but I think the chemistry that I saw here between the faculty and the residents um, uh, in, the, in the couple of days I was able to visit during my interviewing was really uh, exceptional and, and uh, at a level that I, I definitely did not find anywhere else. Um, it was kind of a combination of the faculty um, and the program. I really um, like the fact that we rotate at different hospitals and it's not just one hospital. Um, I think there's a good learning experience there, um, especially when you're done because you don't know what type of environment you're going to work in and you get to choose like, or get experience in the different types of environments. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's been great, great experience so far. Um, I enjoy my fellow classmates and um, the experiences that I've, I've had so far have been pretty much what I've expected. So, yeah. so I'd heard good things about uh, this program and one of my very trusted advisors in medical school said uh, that this is one of the, the few programs that he would really strongly recommend. So it happens it's in a beautiful city. We heard great things about Portland and uh, I had never really spent any time here before. But uh, it seemed like a really good combination for us. We were looking also to get back to the West Coast and uh, all the stars aligned uh, and it worked out well. I think probably the best thing about OHSU is the balance and you know kind of like anything we do in life you're seeking good balance and I think we have a, um, a good patient population we're definitely busy enough that you're always on the move but not so busy um, that the staffing doesn't allow for good learning opportunities um, we get to work in a variety of hospitals which I think is very important and something to look closely at when you're applying and the people hello the people <laughs> The residents have the biggest influence on your training experience, but the beautiful outdoor setting and many recreational activities make Portland a unique place to live and work. The city offers an urban setting that is inviting to young people, along with an exceptionally family-friendly community. Portland has vibrant music, art, and filmmaking communities. We are deservedly famous for our brew pubs, including many that are child friendly. The summer is filled with festivals of every sort. Portland is one of North America's most bicycle friendly cities. The Northwest Outdoor Recreational Opportunities hardly need trumpeting. If you enjoy biking, hiking, camping, skiing, windsurfing or climbing, you already know our region is an outdoor paradise. The residency application process is nerve-wracking to say the least. We want to try to make it as friendly as possible. Here is Cindy Palmer, our Residency Education Coordinator, to introduce you to our residency selection process. I'm the Education Coordinator for the Department of Emergency Medicine. Um, we, have, we offer 100, approximately 100 interviews per year. Um, this year our total applicant pool was about 620 people. And then from those 100, we make our rank list and then 
Um, from that point, we are matched with nine through the, the ARIS match system. If applicants have questions about the process of applying to emergency medicine, and in particular OHSU, or if they want to find out more about the program, um, they can contact myself or one of our other um, education faculty. Thanks for your interest in the OHSU Emergency Medicine Residency Program. As you can tell, we're proud of every aspect of our program. We hope that you find that our program is a good fit for you. If you enjoyed